What's up guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. So with the whole New Zealand going back into a lockdown for three days or whatever, the level four thing, I don't know, I can't go anywhere. I have big plans to go and get some welding gas, go replace that bottle, but can't do that now. Here's what it is, may as well spend the day in the shed still. Um, so I'm going to try and do the extractor repair, it's got a hole on the other side of this weld around there. I got some 2.5 mil stick rods and um, just like welding rods so i'm just gonna have a go see if i can fix it with the stick welder may as well it's not like you can see it and with having a bit of time i might actually maybe look at doing the heat wrap that i was going to do on those um hopefully i've got enough i might lay it all out see if i'm going to have enough to at least do the top of the runners here where the um spark plug leads and everything go um just a bit more protection and whatnot and I like the look of heat wrap as well. And then because we pretty much can't go anywhere else, I might make a start on the alloy underneath the rear. That's been on my to-do list for like literally years. So I might just make a, at least start making a template and a bit of a plan. And if we get around to it, we'll cut some of the alloy sheet up and put that under there as well. So we'll get stuck in. I'm gonna grab my welding helmet and everything. We'll chop this out, weld the hole up from the back and then weld the cover back on and then grind it up and no one will know yeah so what i'm thinking guys is pretty much just cutting a square out like that so i can get in the back weld that up put that back on grind it up and hide it so we'll swap to a time lapse get this cut out buzz it up and we'll see how we get on Okay guys, so what my plan is, is I laid out, there's one in there soaking already, the heat heat wrap that I've got, and there's a little bit of off cut left from when I did the 12A. And push comes to shove, I could pull the heat wrap off of the 12A extractor, but I shouldn't need to, because um, I'm probably only gonna do this left side for now anyway. And just gonna soak each piece in water before I use it. Um, seems to work quite well doing this. I had a mate of mine tell me about soaking it first and it's like it sort of goes stretchier and you can like really wrap it on nice and tight and then when it dries out it goes like real tight on the um, manifold because if they come loose it just looks shitty and i don't think it actually works as well too if it comes loose so i'm thinking if i wrap like this one around and then that little bit that one down to here and do them all to there and then take this one wrap 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 up around there through 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 and then around and then down um try and use that lot the longest piece save that for last and reach from there and then go over the top of the mall and as far around that corner as i can it'll actually work out quite well because about here somewhere about that far away from the exhaust i've got a fuel line so it would just be another extra little safety thing for that so we'll set up the time lapse and get into it i won't bother doing normal speed because it'll be boring as
Okay guys, so that's pretty well done and ready to go back in. This bit here didn't come out as nice as I'd hoped. Um, but it'll do the, do the trick considering it's all to an old um, heat wrap and everything. So I'll tuck that over here out of the way, ready to go back in. And then I've just set up the water blaster. I'm just going to water blast all the grease and everything and all of these alternator bits. And then we'll go from there. Approximately 10 hours later. Okay, you guys, now the next day, but we gave these a quick water blast yesterday afternoon. They came up sweet. I just need to grind that broken bit off that bracket. And that's pretty much good to test, obviously, because the lockdown, I can't take it anywhere to get it checked. So I might actually do a bit of googling later and um, see if there's a way I can test it at home on the bench but put a drill on it spin it and see what it's actually reading and stuff like that but I try to do some learning but anyway I figured may as well try and lift this motor a bit and get that header back in because it just slipped up before but I think the actual heat wrap it's only the thickness of the heat wrap that's stopping it from going back in so hopefully there's enough play in the tunnel and everything and just loosen this engine mount Lift it up just a few millimetres and then slide it in there. Fingers crossed. So that moved a couple millimetres in, we'll see if it's enough. There we go. A bit better. So it's actually pretty good with these gaskets because they've got the hooks on the two end ones. You can just set it up like with the two end bolts and then slide that in. Because I know some cars you have to try and balance the headers and stuff. This makes it a million times easier. Sweet guys, so that's all buttoned up, all nice and tight down underneath as well. But I figured I may as well quickly grab a rag, give all this a bit of a spruce up underneath where the core's bolt on. I was contemplating unbolting it and painting that black, but if you look at this side, you can hardly see it anyway past the coil, so I think it's kind of pointless, so I'll just leave it as it is. So we'll go grab a rag and some degrees or something, give that a bit of a spruce up. Might clean up down here while I'm at it as well. Okay guys, so I started wiping this down, put all the clean bits up, make it all a bit nicer. And I figured out oh, it's actually a pretty sunny day. So I might actually chuck the car back down on the uh, ground, push it outside. Obviously the alternator's not on, so I can't really run it. Push it outside and give it a proper wash. Cause I didn't actually even get to give it a wash before chrome. I just hosed it off with the hose because it was covered in dust. So I figured with it being sunny, may as well make the most of it. Push it outside, give it a wash. Give it a bit of a detail in here because it's just like pretty much dust and grime and sort of stuff from working in here.
Alrighty guys, so we gave the car a good clean. Pretty stoked with how it comes up considering it was like a rushed home job, paint job. Just painted in the shed. The engine bay came up pretty good, but there is like a few little bits where like it's all scratched up and marked. But it is what it is, it's far from a show car. It's nice and simple. So definitely can't complain about that. One thing I do need to do is remember to clean the um, brake pad. Give them a decent scrub at some point, but pretty stoked with it. One thing that was funny though, so after that, did that, give it, so after I gave that a wash, I thought I'd come in here, have a bit of a clean up before I bring the car back in, and look what's missing. When I was at Hamptons, they did a couple of like decent pulls and then a couple of hard to gear changes. And then I thought I'd hit a wet patch or the overflow had hit the left hand side and it was it was like it suddenly slipped and it was pulled to the left real hard a couple of times. And um originally I thought I'd snapped an axle or something and then had a look, oh no, everything feels sweet. And jacking it up and feeling around everything seems sweet, but must be a half shaft or something in the diff stripped or stamped or something. So that's gonna be a, a bit of a mission, maybe tomorrow I might Jack the back of the car up and we'll swap the 3.6 back in. That's a medium case LSD, so it should be a bit gruntier than that one. Because I thought it was weird that nothing broke at Hamptons with the slicks on and everything, even when it was hooking up. But yeah, just thought it was funny. So we'll bring the car back in after we've had a bit of a sweep up and see what we can get into. Okay guys, so the car's all in, washed and nice and shiny. Obviously it's far from perfect, it's not like a full on detail, but Pretty happy with how it's coming. The engine bay came up nice. Pretty stoked. So we're gonna call it for this video. Keep it nice and short and sweet. Uh, make sure you check out the next video because we're gonna uh, dive in, get this diff swapped out. So that should be should be interesting. And maybe while we're under the back there, we'll make a start on all the alloy sheeting and stuff for underneath. So cheers for checking out this video, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one. Psst. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. Just down there. Sweet.